Hi guys, Garth here from DCS Hacks. Today we're going to be looking at doing a DME approach into Anderson AFB in one. So following along the 51 radial, trying to intercept at 70 miles. And as soon as I hit 15 miles, I'm going to start banking left with a view to intercepting the 17 mile DME arc. In order to maintain 17 miles from the TACAN, we're going to be using a technique called 50 pencing, but more on that in a little while. We'll be cruising at 230 knots. So starting the turn now, keeping an eye on that distance. Got 54 X-ray, which is Anderson TACAN dialed in. Keeping an eye on that little blue tick at around the half eight, nine o'clock position on the rows. So it looks like I've gone a little bit over the 70 miles, so making the correction. I'm trying to put that blue tick in and around the nine o'clock position. Getting glared out, which isn't unusual. There we go. So slowly bringing it back to 17 miles. So I'm not going to fly a perfect DME arc here guys because I want you to see how to get yourself in and out of trouble on this thing. So we're trying to get a bit closer to 17 miles. I'm going to let the blue tick be a couple of notches on the rows higher than the east mark or the 9 o'clock position in order to get closer the TACAN or 17 mile DME that we're trying to achieve. Just tweaking my course radial now for my approach to runway 06 left Anderson. Quick rule of thumb guys, if you're over 17 put the blue tick above the east line, if you're under 17 put the blue tick below the east line. When the blue tick's exactly on the east line I'm neither getting further away or closer. At this point, I'm just going to keep quiet and let you see what's going on. Make up your own mind. Just try and keep it as close to 17 as you can. It can drift 0 0.1, 0 0.2 either way, but as long as you're approximately on it, it should be fine. But also keep an eye on your altitude as well.
So the Takan's pretty much directly to my left now. So just checking the numbers and keep doing what I'm doing. Not looking too bad at all. Now keeping your head in the cockpit the way I am now it is a really great way of training and getting familiar with trusting your instrument and doing stuff like IFR, instrument flight rules for when you're flying at night getting from A to B and particularly doing instrument approaches. This way is a lot of fun and incredibly rewarding. I recommend you try it out. Quick glance at the altimeter, 2600, looking good. Actually the plate says 2600 at or above, so yeah, I think I'm within tolerance. So at 70 miles now, I'm just going to put the blue tick a little bit above the east line, level the wings, and let it drift off slowly, bringing me back round into the 70 mile DME. So I'm at 16.9 miles now, so I'm just going to keep my wings level and let the distance from the Takan auto-correct back to 17. Just note the blue tick moving anti-clockwise now. on 17 and the process begins again. Making sure we keep a good scan of all the instruments so our situational awareness is where we want it to be. ILS needles have just come alive. Must be getting close.
so my coarse needle of 064 and my tacker needle are starting to converge so pretty soon I'm going to start turning left with a view to satisfying the tacan and beginning an instrument approach or ILS approach to an Anderson Air Force Base. Speed's looking good, altitude 2600 which is where we start thinking about intercepting the localizer. Starting the turn, looks like I've left it just a little bit late so I'm going to need to make a slight correction here, but nothing to worry about. Hyper 1, established on localizer, runway 06 left, 9 miles. Warning, 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 warning. Below 10 miles, going to start configuring for landing now, getting the gear down, monitoring the angle of attack. Approaching the glide slope now, watching the needle slowly slide down. As soon as the needles are on and on, I'm going to bring my head out of the cockpit and start doing a visual approach using the heads-up display. Our next fix is Joe Run, which is top of the drop, 2,200 feet. Looking good. Well guys, one final approach. I'm not going to bore you with all the rest, but that's how I basically do a DME arcs. Now I hope somebody out there found this useful, so you guys have a great day, I'll see you up there, and it's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.